Queen's right-hand woman part of cruel plot to put Meghan in her place says Duchess ally. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal biographer claims the Duke of Sussex accused the Queen's right-hand woman of a cruel bid to put his wife in her place. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's biographer, Omid Scobie, sensationally claims the monarch's royal dresser and adviser Angela Kelly made it almost impossible for Meghan to have a hair trial before her royal wedding and even stood her up. He claims sources said Prince Harry, 37, felt the moves were a cruel attempt to put his wife to be at the time in her place. In a blog post for Yahoo, Mr. Scobie said, it was also the Queen's right-hand woman and dresser, Angela Kelly, who multiple sources told me made it almost impossible for Meghan to have a necessary hair trial with her chosen wedding tiara, even standing up with the Duchess to be and her hairstylist, who had flown in especially, at a pre-scheduled fitting. Harry, sources said, felt it was a cruel attempt to put his partner in her place. Mr. Scobie was speaking after Prince Harry last week appeared to issue a veiled warning to those closest to the Queen in an interview with NBC, saying he wanted to make sure his grandmother was protected and had the right people around her. Harry did not elaborate on whether he was referring to royal aides or members of his own family but his comments are likely to have deepened his rift with his father the Prince of Wales and his brother the Duke of Cambridge as well as perplexing palace officials. Mr Scobie argued employees of the royal institution were responsible for Prince Harry experiencing she of his darkest and most distressing moments as a working member of the firm. He wrote, it's at the hands of some of these same people that Harry experienced some of his darkest and most distressing moments as a working member of the firm. Mr. Scobie continued, days before permanently leaving the UK in March 2020, Harry told a close aide, these people have their own agendas, they work for the institution and certainly don't care about us as family. Princess Diana echoed similar sentiments in the years following her divorce from Charles. Prince Harry and Meghan currently live in California with their two young children Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana after making the decision to leave the firm in early 2020. The pair made their first public appearance together in Europe since quitting a senior working royals more than two years ago when they attended a reception at the Games last Friday. Now there is speculation the pair will be back in the UK to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, even taking a place on Buckingham Palace balcony. But speaking last week, Prince Harry refused to commit saying of the potential visit, I don't know yet. There's lots of things. Security issues and everything else. So this is what I'm trying to do, trying to make it possible that, you know, I can get my kids to meet her. The Queen has not yet met Prince Harry's young daughter, Lilibet, who is named after his beloved grandmother.
kids to meet her. The Queen has not yet met Prince Harry's young daughter, Lilibet, who is named after his beloved grandmother.